Hello, it's me, Sam here for Ruby Gaming, and today we're going to do the Permissions 3.0 uh, plumbing tutorial. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because the previous permission tutorial um, it works, but there have been some changes with the permission system, and I'm just going to go over how to deal with these changes. So, the first thing you want to do is download the full zip. Uh, I've already done that there, and it gives you these files. Open that in your favourite R driver. So, now go to your server directory, go to plugins and you want to go and drag in the permissions.jar you also want to create a new folder and call this one permissions go into that folder and then drag in the rename and, uh, hyphen me folder so the way this now works is that for each world you have you'll need a different folder so I have two worlds, world and world nether which is pretty much default and you're going to want to just rename uh, that folder world and then copy and paste and rename this one world underscore nether so that happens for each of your worlds if you only have one world you only have one uh, one folder there and inside you'll have groups.yml and users.yml so we're going to start the server up and uh, it should have all the creating storage config and if we reload that it should be fine, saved all data uh, it was initialized successfully so now if we go into the folder you'll see some new files being created these are global groups and global users and storage config.yml so storage config.yml this controls how each world are loaded and you can choose how to store uh, each permission for each world. So for instance, you can use SQL to store uh, your data for the world nether, and then you can use like uh, YML for storing it in, uh, for instance, just a normal default world. So I'm going to use YML because that's just the easiest to do and to explain. And you just, uh, there's a nice uh, link on the wiki which you can use and it tells you how to set all this up and basically you just want to set the type to YML if you wanted to choose SQL or SQL just put SQL up there but I'm going to choose YML uh, you can also choose t like MySQL if you wanted uh, which needs to set the password and such like and you can also set um, per world uh, things but just for this tutorial, I was going to say the type is YML. So save that and exit. Uh, there's also global groups and global users. So we know that just copy, open groups, control A, control C, uh, and paste it in there. Yeah. And the same for users. And these are basically if the player isn't defined a uh, a per world one, then it will just use this globally uh, glo global system. I prefer the global system in my opinion, but if you want to have world specific permissions, then uh, you can choose what commands happen in each world. So I'm going to go over how to how to create a groups and stuff. So you can open global groups .yml, and you'll see these are the groups so you have groups here and then the name of the group default moderator and admin uh, you can set whether they're the default group by doing default is true or false uh, the info uh, consists of prefix suffix and build so the prefix is what comes before the name suffix comes what after the name and whether or not they can build like destroy blocks or place blocks for instance inheritance is what group they inherit so for instance the moderator will inherit the default group as you can see there uh, the admins don't inherit any group and the default doesn't inherit any group either you can also set permission nodes for each group and these will define what commands and abilities they have now you can find uh, permission nodes on each plugin uh, so depending on the plugin you, you want them to use, they'll have a different permission node for each action. So I'm going to show you how to create a new class. So the easiest way is to copy a pre-existing one, 
and paste it and we're going to call this one builder so we're going to set them to a builder and they're not going to be the default class and we're going to have a prefix of uh, I don't know builder now you might need an external plugin uh, to show these prefixes and suffixes uh, suffix can be like I don't know a slash why not whether they can build, so they can build of course uh, they can inherit the default root which means that they'll get all the permission nodes from the default root and I'm going to give them a new permission node so for instance um, don't know any off by heart but my levelcraft plugin has a node called lc.shout and this allows people to shout their levels out and about so I'm going to give them that command I'm also going to change moderator so it inherits the builder group, so now the builder gets lc.shout node as well as bar.foo. So that's how you set up the groups. This, of course, applies to uh, each individual groups as well in each uh, specific world. And you also want to do uh, global users. I'm going to go over that now. This is where you define per user nodes and um, what um, group they're in. So you can see. We're just going to explain this. The number one Yeti is the name of the person. Uh, the groups are going to be, they're going to, going to be an admin group and they have no external permissions added onto that. Uh, herpina is in the moderator group and the permissions is herp.derp. So that's externally as well as their moderator permissions. And derpina is in the group admins. They have a prefix of uh, that's a colour sign when you have an and in front of it. Not sure what colour it is, but they have a colour in front of their name. And they also have a negative permission node. Now what a negative permission node does is that it will take away that command. So for instance, they're in the admins um, group, so they'll have a star, as you saw in the last one, so they'll have all the commands. But for instance, if we don't want, we'll give them all the commands, but then we won't give them derp dot derp by doing a negative symbol in front of it. So for instance to add a new player the easiest way is to copy pre-existing one. Uh, we're going to call them Savio. They're going to be in the group builder as we had defined before. We can set the prefix so I'm going to do a prefix of is pro. Not big headed there at all. And I'm going to give myself a new permission node, which is going to be, I don't know, essentials.give. So I can give myself items. So I'm going to save that, and then that's all hunky dory. So now if we just load up the server, uh, it should say all successfully configured. Now, if you've got an error uh, where your it's just found, like, uh, if I place a space here accidentally and save and I start it up again so you get a big sp okay, I don't think it's yeah. give me a second if I go onto world go users I put a space there accidentally I start the server up what is going on? I should get errors A whole tab in there. There we are. Right, so, as you can see, if you've got an error, it should tell you what uh, the location of the error is. So, for instance, um, it is in line 34, column 8. Uh, we can't find out what file it is, I think. But uh, anyway, to find out where that problem is, open up the file. And you're going to want to go to our link I open to find in the description. And it is a online YML parser. So if we go to that website now, uh, open this up, Control C and Control V, and then as you'll see, this is an error on line 34, column 8. So if we go to that line there, which is here and uh, we remove this space here 
don't know why I ended in that. Wow, I failed so bad. So, there's some errors here. Oh yeah, there we are. So we can fix the error. And there we are. So, that will just show you where the source of the error occurs. And then you can go in and fix it. So, it's very space specific. If you don't put a space in the right place, um, it will mess up. Uh, don't use tabs, because it will mess up if you use tabs. Okay, so that's how to set up the bridge missions. There are also, in the update, there are some in-game commands. Oh, fake. Fake, 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 fake. There are some in-game commands now. And uh, I'm going to go over how they work. Uh, we're not going to go in game, but we can use the console instead. So there we are, it all works fine now. Okay, so the first command is the permissions command. So if I do permissions, it will show you the version of permissions you're running. So I'm running 3.14 at the moment. And uh, that's what it is. Um, there are some more reloading commands. Uh, this is done by doing permissions reload. Oh, I've spelled correctly. And that will reload the default world of the permission. So you can edit the file and then it will reload it. Just that one specific uh, plugin itself. It won't uh, reload the whole server. You can either do that with the default world or we can do it per world by defining the world so reload world and now world world has been reloaded or I can do all worlds by doing re permissions reload all and then uh, we'll reload all worlds uh, I can also list what worlds there are so by doing permissions hyphen list worlds and the loaded worlds are world nether star and world I can also list, uh, a star means global by the way, um, you can also do permissions hyphen list users and then world name so I'm just going to do globally and that will show you all the permissions that affect people so there are the Pina, Herpina, Number 180 and Sam here as I added earlier are all the users that are in the global configuration and also you can define the world instead of the star um, you can also do permissions hyphen list and then groups and then the world name so we'll use world for this one and that will show you all the different groups you can get um, in that specific world uh, we can also create and delete um, a group and stuff so we can do this by doing permissions um, we're going to create a group so permissions G and then the target, so I'm going to call it, I don't know, um, crazy group, go for it, why not, and then create, okay, so now I've created a crazy group in the default world, I didn't specify worlds, and you do this by doing permissions, g crazy, 2, w, hyphen, and then the world name, so I'm going to call it world, Never. Great. Ah, oh, fake. So now I created a group called Crazy Two in the world Nether. Now, if I go back to my plugins permissions, world Nether groups, you'll notice that there is a Crazy Two group there. So that's a nice, easy way, and I can also delete groups as well and I do this by doing permissions g group so crazy two world nether world nether and then finally delete and that will remove the delete I can also um, see what each player um, what each group has um, in their permissions. This will include inherited permissions. So I do this by doing permissions 
G and then the group I'm going to want so let's have um, default the world part we're just going to use the default world and then has and then if they have the node or not so let's have D.D .D as a node so they don't have the permission to use uh, the D.D .D node well if we go and look and what they do have and they have the command foo.bar so instead of checking d.d .d, we can just check foo.bar uh, that's just to find a world submission world world has foo.bar and as you can see oh they did have I didn't read it correctly but as you can see they do have that permission to use that node as we defined in the group so then that's a nice easy way to check without going into the actual file. Uh, we can also see all the list of um, them. And we do this by doing permissions g uh, default perms list. And this will just show all the permission nodes that they have. And as you can see, they have the food bar, and that's the only one they have. And if I chose, like, for instance, moderator, moderator, it will show all the inherited ones as well. I can also add a node to a group and I do this by doing permissions g default perms add and then a node so I don't know lol dot lol so I did the permissions successfully and now if I list a group you can see they have food bar and lol dot lol so it all works great uh, I can also remove nodes and I do this by doing perms remove foo dot bar uh, what did I do wrong there? I spelled remove wrong so I always spell correctly and as you can see I remove the permission node through the bar from the permissions group and if I list it again they only have low 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 ok cool uh, we can also do some inheritance management as well and we do this by doing permissions g uh, let's go for moderator this time. Uh, parents dot list, and as you can see, the group defaults in world group moderate, moderator in star. So, what um, the parent of the moderator group are the group the, the default group and the moderator group in the global commands one, if that makes sense. So they inherit all the commands from um, the default group in the, their own uh, file and they also inherit all the moderator group permission nodes in the global permission nodes. Okay. And that concludes today's tutorial. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, check in some uh, new tutorials and stuff and the other plugins um, also started up a Twitter so uh, follow us on Twitter our Twitter name is Weeper Gaming and uh, yeah thanks for watching peace out